We're asked to write an inequality for the graph below, and we're asked to use x for the variable. So since we get to decide which side we're going to put the x on, my suggestion is to always put the x on the left-hand side, and then we really only have two things to figure out. We have to figure out what the inequality sign is going to be, and we have to figure out what the number is going to be. So starting with the number, the important point is this one right here that is at a tip. So that's an ending point and that looks like it's exactly on 1. So I'm going to put my 1 for the number and then since we put the x or our variable on the left hand side, the arrow is actually going to point the way for our inequality. Now we have four choices for inequalities. It could either be less than, less than equal to, greater than, or greater than and equal to. Since this is a solid dot, that means we're going to have to use the ones that have the line underneath them. And the advantage of putting the variable on the left hand side is that whichever way the arrow is facing, the arrow will match. So that arrow is pointing to the left. This arrow is pointing to the left. So I'm going to put my less than or equal to sign in here. So our inequality is x is less than or equal to 1, meaning that it is all those points to the left of 1 less than, and it also includes the point 1 because it's a solid dot.